Okay, I'm going to show you really quickly how to publish your Azure ML Studio experiments to the gallery so that you can share them with me or the TAs and we can grade them and all that good stuff. So I imagine for this checkpoint, you're going to have something much more complex than this right here. It doesn't matter how complex it is, the process is the same. Or you may even have multiple uh, experiments. It's better to put it all into one. Um, I prefer that, but if you ever need to do have publish multiple experiments, you can do the same thing that I'm about to do here one at a time for all of them. So anyway, first thing before we can publish it, it has to be run and saved. So sometimes you'll see green check marks on each of your pills and you try to publish to gallery and it still says it needs to be run first. Sometimes it's just a caching issue. It doesn't take long, just run it again and it'll fix that problem. Next, once everything's fully run, we're going to come over here to where it says publish to gallery and click this. And this is what I'm talking about. You might get an error message that pops up because it thinks you haven't run it yet, even though you have. Uh, anyway, it looks like I'm going to have to um, stretch out my window a little bit to make room for that. Okay, that's better. All right. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, experiment name. Uh, what you put here for the name isn't as critical, um, but to keep things organized, you know, put your name on it if you want to. Course, TBAL, and uh, I can't remember what the course, how that works. Whatever your course n number name is, 521 or whatever, whatever this class, whatever you're doing this uh, class for. Um, tags, you only need to worry about this if you want this to be searchable by someone that's not necessary. People can create experiments and make them available to others to use this way and actually even charge for them. And so they're going to want to put searchable tags to let people find them here and add descriptions. We're not going to be worried about this. Um, credentials contained in the modules in this experiment will not be published. That's just fine. This is saying you have to check this knowing that that uh, import data pill is not going to include the username and password. That's fine. I know what it is. I can enter it in or the TAs can. It's not a problem. Uh, my screen's not big enough. Let me pull this down. Next, we're going to click. There we go. This continue button. This says you can give it a nice pretty image. We're not going to worry about that either. We just hit next. Visibility. In general, I would say make them unlisted. Uh, we're not trying to share these with anyone. I would make everything unlisted unless you're sure this is something you want other people, random strangers to find and to see. Uh, so check that box. I agree. Check. That's it. Now, sometimes this process fails. In fact, sometimes I've had to redo it uh, two or even three or four times before it finally worked. I'm not sure what the issue is. If it does fail, all we do is we start back over, rerun the whole experiment, and then try the publish link again. And then eventually it just works. So I'm going to pause this for now. OK, there we go. Your experiment's been published. I'm going to copy this, Control C. Uh, then next, I want to show you, um, I think we would have to go to student view, yeah. assessments. I want to show you what it's going to look like from your view. We want the data preparation assessment. All right, perfect. All right, right here. Paste the URL to your Azure ML Studio experiment right here. Beautiful. It's set up to where I could paste multiple links. Uh, really, we should have everything in the same experiment for this particular um, checkpoint. However, in the future, if you need to do this, you can put multiple links in here. Now, next down here is where I'm going to create my outline of the data preparation tasks. So what I would do to make life easy on yourself is come up here and just grab this bulleted list I've already started for you. Copy, paste, and then to start filling in the blanks. Um, what I use here, import data pill with the following SQL. That'd be one way to put here what you did. Uh, I'd also, in this case, you're not joining any other tables, but for your final project, you might list here the other pills that you've um, used to do the joins, explain it in detail, select and reduce data, just start explaining it here. Um, for this task, I, um, for right here, you might say I use the uh, select columns pill um, with the following parameters or something like that. So just come in here and fill in the details in this outline of all the different steps you took and describe them, uh, your parameters. I'm not looking for a lot of information here. In fact, the simpler the better because the faster I can grade it then. But as you can see, not everything in here is going to be relevant. 
you're not going to need to append rows or join columns. That's okay. It's fine to come down here and put um, not applicable in this data set or something like that. But I want the minimum re necessary to explain everything you did and know that uh, there's lots of right ways to do this. I'm not going to, uh, I, I don't have a, a rubric with a one perfect right answer for how this checkpoint should be done. Rather, I'm going to follow that 90% rule um, that uh, if you took this class for me, I probably explained at the beginning where if you did a decent job of you know, addressing every one of these tasks, I'm going to give you a 90%. If I saw you do something unique and creative that I didn't teach, that I didn't expect, but which you came up with by integrating the things that were covered in the chapter in new ways, then you can get closer to 100%. But I wouldn't worry about the grade at this point. Uh, if you're probably taking this as a graduate course um, or you've been accepted into a program, worry more about understanding what each of these phases in the data preparation uh, task are and knowing whether you understand what they are uh, and have some ideas. So anyway, that's my advice for this project. Hit submit when you're done and uh, be patient. It'll take me a while to, to grade everybody's manually.